Hi, this is Apple. We are going to learn about some basic uses of Google Mapping Pen. For example, we may need to pick a specific location using latitude and longitude on Google Maps using Intel. We may also want to show the direction from current location to a specific location on Google Maps using Intel, as you can see here. Similarly, we may also want to show the direction between two specific locations on Google Maps using the intent. As you can see here, so we will cover all of these three features in our app. So let's get started. Now we are going to create a new project, open in the studio, create a new project. Choose the empty view activity. Next, type the name of the project. You can type the you can type any name, package name, and choose the location where you want to save the project. And for language, use Java. Click finish to create a project. According to our configuration, our project is created. Let's start by uh, first, we will design our UI. Okay, we are going to replace the constraint layout with the linear layout because we will just uh, make the UI very simple. Set orientation vertical and uh, gravity uh, as center. So all of the views uh, inside that linear layout will be in center of that linear layout. Remove the constraints. Uh, change the text of the text view to show the label for the button to show specific location on Google Map using the internet. Okay, now let's create our first button to pin a specific location using latitude and longitude on Google Map using pen. Uh, now set the ID for that button so that we will use to set the click this length on it set text for that button pin location okay remove white spaces similarly let's create another text view to show the label for our next button that will show the uh, direction from current location to a specific location on Google Map using intent. This is just a label to indicate what will the next button do. Changing the text to show an appropriate label. To show in center horizontal, we have give the width as tab content. Let's give a little bit margin from the top. Okay, done with it. Let's create another button to show the direction from current location to a specific location on Google Map using intent. Set the ID to accessing the activity and set on click listener on it. Set the text to that button according what feature this button will do when it will click. Similarly, let's create another text view to show the label for our next button to show direction between two specific locations on Google Maps using intent. Uh, we have set the width and height as tab content. Change the text to show an appropriate label. We are going to set a margin from top that say 10 dp. Our text view to show label is done. Now let's create another button to show the direction between two specific locations with uh, width as match paint and height as tab content. Set the ID to access in access that button in the activity and set on click listener on it. Uh, let's set the text according to the feature of that button. That is direction between two specific locations. To make the code more understandable, I am also adding the comments to every UI views we have used in our UI. 
So our UI part is done. Let's implement in our respective activity. Let's declare the UI views on class level and we will initialize them in on create function. For our is, I am going to submit that XML file to the right so that we can view the UI views inside that XML file without closing our activity Java file. To initialize our views correctly, uh, we can also copy the uh, UI IDs of the UI views easily. Initializing the pin location button by find view by id r.id.pin location button. Make sure to type the correct id. You may copy it from that XML file. Let's declare our second button to pins. Uh, direction from current location to specific location. Now initialize it as we have done before. Be very careful while assigning the IDs to the UI views. Okay, now let's declare the third button to show direction between two specific location. Let's initialize it in on create function as we have done before. R dot ID dot direction to button. Okay. We have declared and initialized all required buttons. Now we have to implement the click listeners on each button. Now setting the click listener on pin location button. So when we click that button, we can pin the specific location on Google map using intent. Similarly, we are going to implement the set on click listener on direction one button to show direction from current location to a specific location. You may replace new view dot on click listener with random. Now setting on click listener on our direction to button to show direction between two specific locations on Google Map using intent. So far we have declared, initialized and set on click listeners on our UI buttons. Let's create a function set it private since we don't need to access that function outside of this class set return type void since we don't need to return any value this function will accept two parameters of type string to input latitude and longitude as parameters whenever this function is called we have to pass latitude and longitude that we want to show on google map before creating the actual Google Map intent, we have to prepare a we have to prepare a URI that will contain that will contain the URL including the latitude and longitude of the location that we want to show on Google Map using intent. You have to be very careful while typing. There should be no typos. After search slash, we have to embed the latitude then comma and then we have to embed the longitude be very careful while making that uri okay our uri to launch google map is now ready now we have to make an instance of intent class intent and give a name to that intent equal to new intent this will require two parameters. First parameter is of type set string uh, that will indicate the type of action we want to perform. Second parameter is of type URI and we have just created a URI and we will pass that URI as second parameter in intent instance. You can hover to the intent.action view to read the complete details about it. Now we have to start the activity with that intent as parameter. Function to pin location is ready, but we have not called it yet. We are going to deal with two specific locations, which we have not decided yet where from they will come. I am creating separate variables for each latitude and longitude. A uh, specifier is set to private because I we don't have to access them outside of the class. If your scenario uh, needs to access them outside of the class, you may set them 
public variables to contain the attribute and attribute for first location is ready now similarly we are going to create two more variables to contain latitude and longitude for the second location i have copied some location latitude and longitude from google map and assigned to my variables do you remember we have not called the pin location map function anywhere Let's call it inside pin location button set on click listener. Pin location map. Now we have to pass the latitude and longitude as parameter that we want to show on Google map using intent. Creating another function with private specifier and return type void. Give that function any name you want. I am giving it name direction from current map. Since we need to display direction from current location to a specific location. This function is required to pass two parameters which are latitude and longitude. Both parameters will be of type string. Give an appropriate name to both parameters. Since we need to display direction from current location to that location, that's why I have named them to destination latitude and destination longitude. Google Map Intent requires a URI. So first of all, we will make URI as we have done before with a little bit modification. Since we are going to display direction from current location to a specific location. Copy the main part of the URL and paste in our current URI. The question mark in URL acts as separator. It indicates end of URL, resource path and start of query parameters. CDADDR is a keyword used in Google Mapping Time that indicates destination address. After that, we have passed destination latitude, comma, destination longitude. Our URI is ready. Now we have to make intent. The intent scenario is same, so we have copied it and pasted it in our function. Now we have to call this function in click listener of direction 1 button. After calling this function, we have to pass the parameters latitude and longitude. We need to create another function to show direction between two specific locations. Set specifier as private since we don't need to access that function outside of the class. Return type void since it don't need to have written any value. Give an appropriate name since it will show direction between two locations. I have renamed it to direction between two map. This function will require four parameters of type setting. Setting type parameters will be passed when this function is called. First parameter is source latitude. Second parameter is source longitude. Third parameter is destination latitude and the last parameter, fourth parameter is destination longitude. Whenever this function will be called, we will pass source latitude, source longitude, destination latitude and destination longitude to show direction between these two locations. Now again we have to make URI before making Google Mapping time. Copy the major part of the URL from our previous function from HTTPS to question mark. Copy it and now paste it inside URI.parse the SADR indicates a keyword that is a short form of source address. Now we have to concatenate the source latitude, 
comma plus I concatenate the source longitude. We also need to concatenate destination latitude and longitude to that URI. For that, first of all, we have to add ampersand sign and D A double D R indicates destination address. Now concatenate the destination latitude comma we don't need to type equal type comma plus and concatenate the destination longitude code snippet of intent to launch google map is same as we have done in two previous functions so just copy it and paste after the uri and make sure to pass the uri as second parameter in instance of the intent we have to pass that function inside click listener of direction to button. We have to pass four parameters. First parameter is the latitude of source location and second parameter is longitude, longitude of the source location. The third parameter is latitude of the destination location. Fourth parameter is longitude of the destination location. We have a mistake in our URIs. It's not www. Dot, it's maps. Dot google. Dot com. So correct it carefully. Okay. Now our code is completed. You may review the code again. To make the code more understandable, I have placed the comments almost everywhere. Let's run the project now in an emulator or a real device to check if it is working fine or not. Click the pin location button. Okay, the location is pinned on Google Maps. This location is based on latitude 1 and longitude 1. Now click second button. It will ask permission to turn on the location of the device. After that, it will show direction from current location to the specific location. Destination location is based on latitude 1 and longitude 1 that we have specified in our code. Now click the third button. It will show direction between two specific locations. The two specific locations are specified in our code. If there is any issue, you may ask in comments.